unbox another unbox uh, little clip right this is the vinyl um, Deadpool and cable and Deadpool set and um, it's got a really really old beautiful little um, you know comic book design here with the silver little things around things I haven't opened this so I have no idea what it's like apart from you know seeing it this way here all right uh, vinyl has these little um, kind of like Funko uh, bobblehead type things I don't even know if, oh it is a bobblehead so there's a spring in there I just got it because it was there and I thought it would be cool to get uh, that's it nothing in there apart from this little um, background card right to um to, to, to tone diff different colors blue um, blue and yellow for a cable and red and black for um of course with deadpool so yeah so that's from the of uh, vinyl range and nothing else on here it just tells you that it's cable and deadpool right uh and so they're bobbleheads i haven't opened these Oop. cable popped out so the little the the slightly different in that it's rounder compared to the old um where are we oh, can't see it nope can't sneak a peek at um, one of the other funko ones but so this you can see these are different so like i said i've been you know i talk every now and then to um to rob and on uh, and of course you know the brilliant um Oh, which reminds me, remember, um, as you, if you follow me, you know that on our page that I mentioned Ryan Reynolds being in a show called, um, oh, now I forgot. Zero Man. All right. I posted about Zero Man that I was watching the anime, uh, anime, because I'm trying to keep my, keep myself upbeat. So, and I've been watching a lot of cartoons. I haven't actually watched any TV uh, live action things. And so I've been watching a lot of um, um, mainly funny things like American Dead. Uh, and um, I've just got, um, th watched 13 episodes of Zero Man. I think that's all they made. I think it was a can can uh, Canadian series. Now, Leslie Nielsen, in case if you don't know who that is, Leslie Nielsen as Zero Man has a voice for that and, and his look on that uh, and designs and everything. He is... he in. In the 80s, excuse me, in the 80s, he was a uh, a very, very co big name comedian uh, because he's, he's an older gentleman. And even in, like, he was 60 years old at that time in the 80s. And so he was doing the Naked Gun series, which is a mature, mature, uh, well, not mature, like 13 up sort of funny uh, comedy series like Naked Gun three and a half or two and th one quarter or something like that, and it was a whole a series of them. So if you want something haha -ha to laugh at, yeah, well, that's pretty cool from the eighties. Um, so the Naked Gun series of that. So I was what you know I watched uh, about two three episodes of a while back of the Zero Man series, and so and it and then yesterday I was watching the rest of them because I was like okay let's just take a break from American Dead. And watch, um, you know, some, you know, something a bit older, something a bit different. Superhero, right? So Zero Man is this geriatric superhero which ha has an alien um, suit, which gives him power, and he still lives with his grand, uh, with his mother, at sixty years old, and she wants him out of the house all the time. And so it's a very funny, tongue-in-cheek, very hilarious, um, um, animated series. Kind of a bit more mature, and it's not something you want to, you know, depending on what your kids are into and you know best, that, you know, you can sit around and watch with them. But, yeah, there's a lot of in, inside jokes and such. Uh, but but Ryan Reynolds, Mr. Deadpool himself, plays, um, oh, I can't even remember the name now of the character, but in Zero Man he plays a, a, a gay uh, assistant to him. So Zero Man... Um, you know, has a gay assistant and Ryan Reynolds is a gay assistant. So after watching eight episodes of it, I realized that he said said a couple of words. And I'm like, 
hey, that sounds like Ryan Reynolds. Because I didn't look into who it was. All I knew was Leslie Nielsen. Hey, I'm going to watch it. And I knew who that was. But I didn't look at the, who the supporting actors or the other characters were played by. So that was pretty cool. So and so I checked out on IMDb, as I said. Uh, and I mentioned the website on Comic Trade that, you know, that I found it really cool seeing him there in 2004 doing a superhero, um, uh, being in a superhero animated series. And then like a decade later, he gets just over a decade later, he gets to become Deadpool. Right. And I thought that is really, really cool. And I, and so, yeah, so let's get, get back to that. So as you can see, you got like the, the gun, it's a basic, it's a, you know, it's a basic design of the, um, of the old, um, um, Funko, as I mentioned, but it's much rounder, and it's, if you, if you've already been collecting these, already seen them around, then you know what, what they're like, they're not, they've got a specific style, right, so the bodies are, are flatter, uh, of course, um, you can't just make a similar Funko toy because they have their own set design and intellectual property and registered patents. So you can't go and start making your own versions of that. But you can basically do something different. And you can't say, well, I'm, uh, you can't, they can't copyright bobbleheads because Bobby, or patent bobble, bobbleheads because they've been around for whew, decades, like way back to the 60s and 70s or even 50s maybe depending for these toys so i think 60s was when they uh, 60s 50s when the plastic was a big deal so yeah so cable and i, I like them i think they're all right and the the bubbles um you know the as you can see cables a bit more shaky um and it's larger the heads are larger and deadpool isn't but you also here should have a look they've got the um, katanas and foot's front, back, normal with the uh, carrying things, backpack type looking things. I don't know. Oh no, that's that's not the back. That's the back carry case for his katanas, the, the scabbards. And very simple um, on the back of cable. 